Yeah, I think it's about that time. Spooky season is upon us. So what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna go check up on our good old buddies that love to scare the living shit out of us and also be incredibly disrespectful with their editing style. So, without further ado, let's go check out first my boy Bizarre Bub and see what he's been up to with Scary Comp V83. I don't look forward to these. I, you know, I don't know if you know how long I procrastinated on this shit. It was a fair amount of time that I was procrastinating, but uh, here we go. September 18th of 2020, ah! we were playing a game inside a room when something pretty creepy happened. You can only move when the lights are off. You can't move when the lights are off. Oh, you fuck off. Moves to get to me. Fuck off. This is a setup for a chump. This is, this is gaslighting. No, <laughs> nah, that's the wrong thing. Not gaslighting. Narcissist. It's something fucked up. It's a psycho. Okay, she's having fun right now, but it's not going to be fun. Oh, all right. <laughs> you have five moves to get to me. I would, I would never play this with somebody in... Nah, you're not making it cute. She's not making it cute. I don't like this one. Okay, okay, it's normal now. She seemed like she was trying to... All right, when's it going to come, bub? Come on. Stop messing with me, bub. I'm ha... I'm... Oh, Oh my Turn god. Turn the light on. Sorry. What the heck? Something fell right? Yeah, it was sitting right here. It was like, and it just fell off? I'm getting, uh... It tastes like bad acting out of here. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I was having fun at first. I was into it. You, you had me in there. You had me. Oh, oh, my, oh my god. Oh my god. You guys. What even is that up there? Extra storage? Fancy. I really liked the buildup. I, I didn't like where it ended. I thought they were gonna have something peering out of the closet and you can like kind of see what it is, kind of not see what it is. Enough to, or uh, right in between the curtains too, that would have been kind of good. Just something to mess with you. I didn't, a little anticlimactic, I'm not gonna lie. Given how far it landed on the floor, it's as though someone or something had flung it. Yeah, I, I mean, but, but also the problem when you're doing the turning off the lights thing, it's just really easy setup for any type of editing whatsoever. This video is sponsored by MD Hair. MD Hair is the world's first medical grade hair growth treatment customized to exact cause and type of hair loss. Your subscription will include free 24 seven medical chat, support with dermatologists and registered nurses. They sent me customized hair shampoo, customized hair conditioner, serum, hair wellness supplements, and marine collagen. It is my customized treatment kit designed to target the specific root causes of hair loss resulting in thicker, healthier hair. It was customized through my hair quiz and scalp analysis. A lot of you know I just cut my long hair and it's a scary thought of losing it all. I mean, my midlife crisis has been a lot of fun, but there's a lot of anxiety behind this joy. The shampoo and conditioner actually feels great on my scalp, better than anything I've bought at the store. It's just super convenient. So customize your hair growth treatment with MD Hair today. Use my promo code MrGG70 to get your first month of customized products for 70% off. And thank you, MD Hair, for sponsoring this video. But that can work to your advantage. You know, you can really make me shit bricks right now in my computer chair at 3 p.m. In the following video, a mother and her two children are standing outside their house after seeing something very alarming. They mm. had just come back from walking outside when something on the second floor window catches their attention. Using a flashlight they had brought along to their nightly walk, the family shines the window and sees this. All right, my daughter's room is up there and we keep seeing something. All right, put your flashlight up. Oh, she's got a whole ass flashlight. Wait, what do they see? Yeah, I need the I need the Madden instant replay on this. I need Madden to give me a couple circles, a couple arrows pointing. Oh, did the blinds kind of peer open a little bit? All right, flash it up there. Oh, now it's gone. No, okay, I'm put missing your flashlight it. Flashlight down. I'm definitely missing it. All right, put it up. Hurry. Oh. Oh, okay. So someone, someone with like a white shirt is kind of the window. The blinds move on their own. But if you look closely, you'll see that no fingers can be seen opening the blinds, let alone a figure behind the shades. It could be that this odd occurrence has happened before, and thus explaining why she doesn't seem that phased. But whether or not that's so, what happens next further demonstrates this incident as being truly odd. See, here's the problem, right? <laughs> here's the issue with stuff like this. I don't like when I, I kind of go horror movie brain, where I think, well, let me think of the logical option here. Not so much what that is or what may be up there, but more so if I was in that woman's shoes and I start seeing some flickering on the second floor or some uh, shutters moving, 
me make this very clear. We will not be entering the house. I know, it is a bold plan. Might catch some of you off guard. Maybe some of you will call me pussy. I will be calling police and arming myself. Shit, I might even start ringing all the neighbors' doors. Like I'm trying to get them to, to convert their faith and telling them, get the pitchforks ready. I know all of you have guns, so please gather my children as we defend ourselves against whatever the fuck is in my house. Thank you. I'll be sure to uh, donate to all your bake sales. This is a bad mom. I said it, no one else is gonna say it. No one else is gonna say it, I'll say it. CPS, is that the right thing? DHCS, one of them. Get a social worker out there. I just wanna show you guys. No one behind the door. Here's the closet. I just wanna show you there's nobody behind, nobody in the closet. Here's I wouldn't the wanna be framed as a liar. In the following video, a mother is recording her daughter because of something very concerning that she just said. According to the daughter, Someone or something is in the closet moving inside. They believe that a squatter is hiding in their house. Now they had thought this for the longest time until something pretty creepy happened recently. Although Cheryl, the mother, doesn't exist. That's two pretty creepies in this video. Bub. We need to start working on the vocab a little bit. That You can't drop two pretty creepies in one video. That's bananas. Give me a fairly ominous. We need to switch up. One day, Cheryl is sewing in her room when her daughter, who's playing with her toys right behind her, tells her that something had moved in the closet. She immediately grabs her phone and begins to record. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump in. <laughs> I don't get you people. I don't understand. Yo, what the fuck's going on, fam? Uh, so my daughter is actually terrified for her life. Turns out, she says she sees something in the closet, right? She's been saying this for a while. We think there's actually a squatter up there. Uh, honey, do you wanna do you wanna say something to the people? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> I don't understand. Don't mind my mannequins. I sew for a living, so. That's bit. Uh, I realize I wasn't showing that. I realize that's as far as here. Let me show you the mannequins real quick. I was gonna say something about the mannequins. Editor, blur that. So YouTube's not gonna like that one bit. YouTube does not enjoy itself some plastic punachi, okay? I was gonna criticize the mannequins and start saying, wh where are all these houses where you are all so very okay with large things that look like people just being out and about in your house? This is the one decent excuse, one passable excuse I've heard. Not that they need to give one when they're fucking searching for squatters in their home, but it's the one passable excuse I've heard so far as, to, as for the reason why they would have that. There's a house I've seen that has like a seven foot angel during the holidays, which is supposed to be cute. That's awesome, you know, Jesus, let's go. It's a big fucking angel that's just dead in there, like not dead, but it's dead center of their top upstairs window. So we all have to look at it and be like, who the fuck is, oh, okay. So, you know, hit a quick Hail Mary on the on the drive-by. But I can't imagine what they feel like when they're like going up to take a piss at three in the morning. I don't know. I guess I'm alone in this. Oh. You're a stupid. <clears throat> the misogyny's boiling through my life. <laughs> ah, you're a silly boy. You're bad. I'm gonna say it that way. You're bad. Yeah, Not you. You didn't do anything. You got put up to this. Behind the camera, you're bad. You're so bad. <laughs> no warning. By the way, guys, I don't want to scare anybody on watching. I do have a mannequin facing me as soon as I open the fucking closet. I thought we were looking for a squatter. Plummeting to the ground. Cheryl and her daughter. He's looking like, uh, like she was doing the Jesus lean. You guys ever heard of the Jesus lean? Wang me a video on it. You guys check it out. But viewers believe that the figures are either cursed or haunted. Now Cheryl doesn't really think so, considering that strange things have been happening before she bought the mannequins. Oh, that's the toy she's holding in her hand. Oh, is she supposed to be like speaking to somebody right now? She's talking to the mannequins. They're in cahoots! Is the mannequin gonna fall out again? I feel like there's nothing really more than- Oh, maybe the mannequin hand like slowly creeps up? That'd be kind of interesting. Or not, you don't have to do that. You can just show her leaving. Or we gotta get a little replay here? No? Oh. Doors. It was the door. 
It's because the door. Some believe that the road is cursed and should therefore be closed down permanently. But most drivers, like the one in this video, can find an alternate route to their destination. Gaston Rodriguez and his co-driver were taking this route when something pretty Fucking creepy jam happened. It, baby. The two drivers are listening to some cheerful music to make their commute less frightening. When out of See, nowhere, they capture this. See Mexican listening to Mexican music? Yeah, he is. <laughs> you don't you don't get that kind of movement from anything else. There's only one there's only one thing that was thrown on there. <laughs> oh yeah, he's jamming. He's having a good time. Oh yeah. We're 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 having a blast, baby. Even that couldn't kill my vibe. Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive answer as to what was captured in this footage. All I got was vibes in that clip, I'm sorry. In this next video, a man named Bobby is watching a scary movie. I see this is what I'm talking about. Give me a good reason for this shit. This is just like the clown thing in the other video. Bobby has documented things that he considers to be paranormal in nature. From the uh, stars turning on by themselves. Okay. To bedroom doors seemingly opening on their own. Okay, so he's a serial para paranormal poster, if you will. And that's why he's got shit all over the place. Jesus. Okay, no warning, Bob. This isn't even the one you're showing right now. <sighs> I ran that one back one more time for the boys. <laughs> hey, we've all been there. Come on. It appears that something highly unusual is taking place in Bobby. I've definitely seen a video of this one. I don't know if it's made it in one of the edits, but I've Bobby's definitely apartment. seen this this apartment. The following takes place while being the cabinet's haunted too. So everything's haunted. Since I started hitting record, it stopped. Huh? What the fuck did he say? Well, let me put on closed caption. It'll come in clutch. It'll come in clutch. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. YouTube never fails. Oh, soon as I hit record, it stopped. Let's fucking go, YouTube. Dynamic duo, Kobe and Shaq. Please leave me alone. Pretty please. Sprinkles on top. Yo, <laughs> he's a gamer. I'm waiting for the loud bang. Okay, we need a loud bang. Something a little louder to kind of... Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yo is right, baby. Is this just a brand deal for the gaming chair? <laughs> Yo. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo. All right. That's a guess. It's a guess. Shot in the dark. That, that's what he was going to say. Yeah. <gasps> 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 No, that was just a little giddy. He's got some Homer Simpson ass sounds coming out of his mouth. If we get another f like five times speed right now, this is a little this is a little absurd. Do it again. <laughs> Yo, I'm good on that, man. That was sound like a, a random Theo Vaughn impression out of nowhere. What the fuck was that? Now he seems excited by it. Now it seems like he's getting his rocks off. Even though he started with "Please leave me alone." Fast forward a little bit. Can you do it again? <laughs> That's the noises he's making. What do you want? A very peculiar video was uploaded by a grandmother who was looking over at the footage captured by her doorbell camera. It's around 3:20 in the morning when their doorbell camera records something pretty creepy. Ah! Penalty on the play, baby! Flag on the play, flag on the play, flag on the play! Is that three pretty creepies in one video? You're getting a little loose with those. You're getting real confident on here. I feel like just because we we enjoy getting scared that we'll let those slide. Not around here, pup. Ring cameras, my arch nemesis. Oh no, I didn't like that already. Is it a pretty steep stair? Is that a normal sized person thing? I'm ready to pause the video. I didn't like whatever the fuck that was. Or is that it? And we're just gonna get the replay. Okay, we're gonna get the replay. They okay, no, just kidding. Is that a woman in a big ass gown? It looks like a woman in an old school gown lifting it up so she can walk. The first thing, no clue what the fuck that was. Although they can seem to explain the events of that night, they've taken safety measures to ensure no one or nothing breaks into their house. In this last- See, that's a good- <laughs> See that, that that was that was a good one too. It doesn't overstay its welcome. It doesn't try and be too much. It's just creepy and vague enough. Uh, some would say pretty creepy. Uh, to just kind of tickle your brain a little bit and be like, I don't know what that was either. The video starts off with both friends playing with a doll, hoping it would do the thing that it usually does. Is the camera not focusing, or is is the face blurry? If you completely stop moving, just a second. 
See? She did it again. <laughs> oh, is she moving? Oh, I guess she's doing kind of like a little, like, Look. like the little, like, hula figurine shake that's on the dashboard of your Jeep. <laughs> oh, she's tiny. Oh, I did, not do, I did not do that. That's why I couldn't focus on the face, because it's tiny. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed Let's go, Bob! All right, we cleared that there. That was easy money. So, it is time for Scary Comp V82. We're going right down the line, baby. Why are you loud? The purpose of the video is to show an ice machine that she recently purchased, as there's something about it that creeps her out. The ice maker, according to her, makes a very strange noise during the late hours of the night. Yeah, it's called making ice. Uh, we all experience it. Our fridges make a lot of weird noises. We're like, ah! Okay, yeah, that was just doing fridge things. As she records this video, something pretty creepy is caught on camera. There's anything I know about my boy Bizarre Puff. Is he's always got a pretty creepy holster at the ready, baby. Don't you make him describe this event! No, oh, Wesley Snipes me and he's gonna do it! Fuck! What was supposed to be a short, random video turned out to be a terrifying clip that Pershka has recently taken down for unknown reasons. Probably because she started getting bullied because it's not real. Pershka walks into the kitchen and, and cap captures. Hold on, hold on. I don't, I don't, I don't usually do this, but let's let's slow down. <laughs> let's put some subtitles. No, let's uh, let's slow this down here. Still nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Oh, or yes, something there. And oh, captures for just. I, we should just watch the video like this. It's for this reason that viewers believe she had taken down the clip, as otherwise it would continue to remind her of this disturbing incident. Continue to remind her she lives there. What the fuck was she going to say about the ice? Before shutting down in 1992, the asylum had an estimate of 3,000 patients, all of whom were severely mentally ill and poorly treated, from patients walking around in their own filth due to a lack of basic hygiene to patients receiving forced lobotomies that would often leave them in a much worse state than before. As in dead? Although this next video wasn't taken by a trespassing teen, it was taken by a curious security guard back in 2000, whose job was to look after the historic building. Something like this can be legitimately terrifying because there's just, there's a real chance of squatters in a massive building like this. You don't need to worry about ghostly apparitions. You need to worry about a fucking crackhead on the third floor. It's a bit hard to see at first, but as the night guard pans the camera to a room inside the basement, a shadowy figure can be seen moving slowly inside. Mind you, the basement of this building is completely inaccessible to outsiders, so there's no way that a trespasser could have been inside. The building is completely inaccessible to trespassers, so there's no way someone could be inside. So then why the fuck is there a security guard there at all? What is his purpose? If that building is Fort Knox, why are you paying this idiot? I think the people who make content like this, who try and go for the ghostly apparition thing or, you know, oh, something passed by, while they're in these very interesting locations, I think are just doing the wrong thing. I get it. You'll get a nice little bump in views. People like this shit. I understand, right? But I would be so much more interested in just seeing you go around there and just genuinely explore it. Maybe look around and hypothesize, oh, what was this room? Or maybe you do have a little bit of knowledge behind your back or someone who knows something about the building. I would just find that more entirely interesting than you going in there for a 30 second clip where something was in the background. I feel like it was a lot of work to get into that location. Maybe it's not, I don't know, but you've got such a good location, such good content, and you just devolve to something that you could do in like a hallway upstairs. Do you know what I mean? That's more what I'm trying to get at. I want you guys to win out here, damn it, I do. I know I'm here criticizing you and making goofs and gaffes on your behalf. You know I love you. I want you to win, I want us all to eat, come on. Now the following video was submitted to me by someone who has no idea where the video came from. Its original source is unknown, but despite its mysterious origins, the clip is sufficiently creepy on its own. Sufficiently creepy, okay. We have graduated from pretty creepy to it's sufficiently creepy. <laughs> it's not pretty creepy, it's, it, it will suffice in, uh, in terms of creepiness. Check that out. They come into view as the owner beams them with the car headlights presumably as an attempt to scare them off. It is at this point though, where things get really creepy. <sighs> He's doing it on purpose. He's doing it on purpose, okay. Not a creepy, not a scary, not an ominous, 
Not a suspicious, not a blood curdling. Go on, get. I think those might be the scarecrows I left out earlier. Wait, hold on, I think I'm just shining my high beams on a couple scarecrows. Hold on, let me go check out what's going on over. Well, gosh darn dilly do it. I don't even. I don't know why I'm doing that accent. The sound of footsteps can be heard coming from above, as though someone is in the attic. And it wasn't until the next morning that he decided to leave from the safety of his room to investigate the attic space. He treads carefully as to avoid any physical confrontations. I'm sorry. Did he say he treads carefully as to avoid any physical confrontations? What does that mean, Bob? He's tiptoeing to avoid a fight. The following night, Nick is recording his dog hmm. when he captures this. Instant smile on my face here, says the doggo. All right, the video's okay with me. Wait, what was that? What was that? Hmm. Yo. Why are you scaring my boy for? Why are you scaring my boy for clicks? Nick's dog immediately goes on high alert. Immediately is a bit of an overstatement there. I just want I was gonna say at the beginning uh, there was a bit of a red flag on the play there uh, Cuz he said there was a bunch of noises and knocks and he said oh did you hear that boy and that motherfucker had no reaction The dog would have heard it ten times before he did so for him to be like hey, did you hear that? <coughs> that dog would have already been up. It's a lie. I'm just saying I could go around the corner for my dogs and go And they would be at attention just like that dog was that was a little kitty cat. He must sense something dangerous. Oh, is that a hand? Is that what that is? All right? It's a definite hand. That's a three finger hand. It's a Mewtwo kind of grip right there. On August 23rd of 2023, George Cruz and his wife had just finished making dinner and were heading towards the living room to eat their meal. The couple sit close to each other while watching their favorite TV program. Adorable. It's on the menu. I can't tell. George and his wife had been experiencing strange occurrences inside their house. They would often wake up in the dead of night and hear faint whispering coming from somewhere inside the house. You're a fucking stupid asshole, bub. You're a dumb piece of sh- I hate and I love you. I respect you, bub, I do. You're an absolute fucking dickhead, though. Was that you that did the knocking sound last time? Where you're, you're narrating the story, you said something about knocking, and then you'd put in the knock sound effect? Be incredibly disrespectful with their editing style. I don't know if my editor is going to be courteous enough to warn you guys about what Bub did not warn me about just now. You're an ass. You are an ass, Bub. This when the couple would see household items right here too. Right here, right behind me. Weirdly enough, they were also told to get rid of a certain item inside their house. George and his wife own an old rocking chair, and apparently this chair is the source behind all the activity. Is it gonna rock? Rocking chair is rocking. It's a pretty gnarly rocking chair, I'm not gonna lie. The little 666 design looks cool. What the fuck was that? Pillow? Does the camera really swing like that? That's nutty. What if I started tiptoeing in there? Would it get me? What if I was stealthily moving to avoid physical confrontation? Would the wise cam get me then? I don't think anything's gonna scare me more than that stupid fucking whispering. He works as a grave digger, and oftentimes, after placing a coffin inside a freshly dug grave, he would feel as though someone else was there with him. Be sure to pay close attention, as what was captured wasn't noticed until looking closely. Okay, it's one of those. Let's keep an eye peeled. Let's see if we can do it without the without the mad and instant replay here. I swear, I keep hearing someone walk. I don't know exactly what it is. Okay, I saw it right but there. I'm not sure. Oh, is he gonna go back and look there and then we're not gonna see it anymore? Okay. That's why he went back there. Okay. I was wondering why the clip hadn't cut off yet. If you look closely as the man pans the camera to the bathroom, you can see what appears to be a strange. He showed us what he wanted to show us, bub. You know it. I know it. I wouldn't put it past that grave digger to think this was a funny video to upload. Come on, the man's got a sense of humor. He doesn't mind joking about this shit. I should make a fake video and send it to Bob and see if he posts it. Oh, it's cold right here. Mmm, a telltale sign of paranormal activity. I'm not going up there. Definitely not going back there. What was that noise? It sounded like an alien gargling. No one else hear that? That was just a shadow. I saw that on the way over there. Did I not? First of all, the alien gargling is, is, what, is what's getting me. Yeah, that shadow was there already. But something's there. It looks like a coat actually there. Does it look different here? Oh, I guess it's more shadowy now. 
I know, but then it turns back into the coat. Or whatever the fuck that is. Is that thing gonna move? Oh, okay, now he's- oh, now we're just staring straight at it. Okay, that was a little staring contest. I think we lost. Okay, never mind, round two. We're back again. I'm back in a better. Here. Ooh, that little squatty motion was kind of creepy when he was about to turn the corner here. I like that. What are these noises in the background? Did he put like an alien filter over everybody talking? Or is that supposed to be a part of the scare? Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. That I did, Bob. But the whispering, we gotta talk about that. I guarantee I wasn't the only one that freaked the fuck out. There's no way I was the only one that got got by the whispering. If I don't see a comment with a lot of likes saying they got got by the whispering, I got bad news for everybody watching this video. I'm telling my editor to not warn you motherfuckers about it. Cause then clearly I'm a pussy and you guys will be fine. Just listen to it as is. So let's put it to the test. Unless I see a comment here with a lot of likes. Okay, 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 okay. That whispering scared the hell out of me. Well played, bub. Man, I was like, who whispering to me? Same dead ass. I was like, who the fuck? Okay, so it wasn't just me for fuck's sake. Had me sketch right out. I damn near pissed myself. Okay, the editor will give you guys a warning. You're welcome. Thank this idiot who was a little pussy too. <laughs> We are gonna wrap it up right there, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Gamer subs, <laughs> code visit GG 10% off. Mr.GG, merch. I think we got a restock. We're coming soon. Who knows? Uh, and as always, I'm Mr.GG and I am out.